Axe Hill. I'm back with some more Red Dead Redemption 2 videos. Today we're gonna be doing the mission that the second mission I considered last video when I was looking at the two. So yeah, let's get that done. that you don't even get to experience it but like before the game even starts like they robbed this bank in the city called Blackwater and now like the entire gang is just wanted in this area of the map <laughs> so yeah and now we gotta go back in because another gang member is being held by some bounty hunters over here we gotta save them Yeah, there's like cops and bounty hunters. Like, thing is, like, you can't even, like, explore, like, this area of the map until, like, like almost the very end of the game. <laughs> like, if you get to about, like, here, just an army of bounty hunters is coming out of nowhere and they just demolish you. Like, they do not want you getting past this little bit. Oh yeah, also, this area was a part of the map from the original Red Dead Redemption game. Like, thing is, the Red Dead Redemption 2 map, right, all like down here is was like a part of the Red Dead Redemption 1 maps. So, like, they put the map from Red Dead Redemption 1 in the game, and then they just added, like, so much more. Like... It's unimaginable how far games have come. Like, I've never played an open world game like this in, like, a long time. There we go. Okay, boy. by the campfire if I can. Let's haul around the campfire and sing our campfire song. R C A M P F R I E song. If you <laughs> if you don't end it, just sing along. R C A M P F I R E. <laughs> yeah, SpongeBob. I think so. Where's Trelawney? Hello, gay boys. Just keep your eyes open. I am. Where is that little Irish bastard? I'm not quite sure. Oh, Shalom he's Irish. It's gonna be now. a treat. You want burning the black water, see how things lie? The place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, ah. pictures of Dutch. Say, uh, well, he got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. There's a ghastly cut behind us. Why haven't they hanged Sean? I wonder. I think he's bait. We want to trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up in Upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or cut him loose. 
I'm not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skeldon's boys are moving them to a camp nearby before handing them over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go sing. I've never played this mission during nighttime. This could be a new experience. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure, well, we'll rescue Sean and we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Track down this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river, West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. Guy on there. Reckon those might be our boys. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. We'll follow them. Nice and easy. Let's make sure it's him first before you go starting another war. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Faster. with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, we should keep it down. Come on, let's keep them in sight. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Pick up the pace a bit. How about you? Like, you're the one yeah, riding there's slow. There's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. Gentlemen, so who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skeldon's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Oh, great. <sighs> More... Fucking boringly slow riding. We 
should do this quietly if we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction, and you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Crouch down out of sight. Take out your knife. Wait. Okay, I got my knife. Let's get in the river. Wait until he's got them off guard before crossing. Okay. Hold up, he's doing his thing. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Excuse me. Dear brothers, my wife is taken ill. Gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear best. You she take the one on the left. Where is she? Okay, come on. God damn it. Oh, I mean, I'm fuck. Okay, I got it. I, I got it on me. Jesse, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I, I can't. I can't. I, I'm having a fit. Ugh. Okay, let's get after him. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. Yep, bye, Trani. Come on, we got two halfway up the canyon to deal with. Camps up this way. Come on. I'll take the left side, Charles. You go right, okay? That means yeah. I got the middle. Take him down. God damn army of these bastards. How much is Charles Barrow?
You're a lot less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Do I get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this game. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Whippersnapper? I haven't heard that right. in a We long should split time. up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <coughs> Have I got stories for you? Yeah. I can't wait. <coughs> I imagine y'all missed me a lot. But fear not. The joy's back in your lives now. Get over here, horse. Come on. Before the authorities come. I've made a I've made a big mess. And we need to leave. Come yep. on. Let's go, horse. Let's put my weapons away. And then just get the fucky fuck fuck out of there, man. And then I guess follow the waterfall to the nearest go. I see a road. Yeah, I better get back to camp. <gasps> no! Tem tem! Tem 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 You okay? You okay? You okay? You okay? Come on, don't die on me. Don't die, 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 die. Oh, if you died on me here, I would be so pissed. Your horse can die, and this horse is, like, cursed for me. Like, whenever I buy, like, this horse, it always dies on me, like, in the middle of nowhere. I remember one time, I bought this horse, and I was doing this other mission, we have to like go all over the place to collect these debts. Um, so yeah, like I'm on my way to one, and then my horse gets shot. <laughs> like out of nowhere, I get jumped by this other gang. They put a shot clean through my Temtem's head. <laughs> I had to run for like a solid hour in real life to get to like the nearest town to buy a new one. It was hell. I think this is the farthest I've ever got with this horse. On my original playthrough uh, that I didn't record, I stuck with this horse hey, for like... Mister, help me. No. I stuck with this horse for the most of the game. And then there's a certain point where your gang moves to another place, and every time you move camps, because you move camps, like, at, like, the end of each chapter, so yeah, like, once you move to this one camp, uh, I, I unlocked the fastest horse in the game, I bought it, named it Maverick, and he was my favorite. Maverick was a good horse. Am I close to camp? I think so. Yep, that's the train station I got the uh, reverend from. Well, that's not the train station. That's uh, that is the train station. Yep, I saved reverend from that train. Yep, yeah, we're close. Yeah, here's the trail. Come on, Tem Tem.
Hey, Charles. Yeah, you did. Hey, Dutch. Hey, listen. I just wanted to say. Yep. Are you seem in a good mood? I am, son. I am. Let's have some fun. Tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. Great. Uncle Sean is back. Mr. McGuire. And don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw, y'all crown. I'll keep them girls in line. If I have to whip them, I will. And don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. <laughs> It'll be nothing but the, the finest no game in the pot. Now, Deadly Maguire's back. <laughs> <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. God, I love the I Irish. Love you bastards. <laughs> have fun. Have lots of fun. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Even you, you grumpy old bastard, Arthur. Yeah! Pearson said it. Let's drink. I just can't get rid of you, can I? Mind if I join you, fine folk? I suppose. You're looking lovely as ever, if I may say so. No. Imagine riding with him all the way from Blackwater to here. <laughs> Did I hit you, Uncle? Oh, what now? Uncle's oh, this old guy. How about that I'm looking at. Come on, Javier, play us a song. Listen, my friend. He's been through a lot. Do you know the Louisville Navy? I enjoyed a party, Molly. I am enjoying it. I just don't need to fall over drunk. Yeah. Well, what I do say?
I sing a merry song, the right bright world I wander over. Oh, with the light, light heart I roll along. Oh, with the light, light heart I roll along. Yep. Reverend. The good earth loves a wild free roll. Hello, for a roll. Hello. The bird is never gone. What do you want? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> this keeps happening. The wide, wide world I wander over. And oh, yeah, here comes off here. I love singing songs by the campfire. Hello, Mr. Pearson. When I, I was just a lad in the I met a gal from old Bordeaux. She had blonde hair and blue eyes, too. Let me ride on the ring dang do, the ring dang do. Now, what is that? Soft and round like a pussy cat. It's got a hole in the middle and it's split in two. That's what you call a ring dang do. She took me down to her cellar, said that I was mighty fine feller. She fed me wine, whiskey too. Let me ride on the ring dang do, the ring dang do. What is that? Soft and round like a pussy cat. Got a hole in the middle and it's split in two. That's what you call a ring dang do. You have lost your maiden head. To make your living off a of ring dang do, the ring dang do. Now what is that? Soft and round like a pussy cat. Got a hole in the middle and it's split in two. That's what you call a ring dang do. She went on to be a whore. I'm on your door. I'm each and two for two. The ring dang do. The ring dang do. Now what is that? Soft and round like a pussy cat. Got a hole in the middle and split in two. That's what you call a ring dang do. I think that's going to be the end of the video. It's a great end if I do say so myself. <laughs> if you liked it, you had to have liked my singing ability. It is on peak with Cade Pop. Yep. So yeah, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.